there is a lot of technology in this world, and depending on which country you look at, you may find some of them to be very interesting. One of the most interesting and intriguing out there is an island country in East Asia called Japan. One of them that really intrigues me is, are some of the arcade games that they have there, which unlike here in the US, is not only it's almost like an actual video game, but they also offer cards there that would actually make an account for you. That's sick! After hearing about this, being a rhythm game fan about myself, I felt like trying one of some of these. Which, by the way, I thought at some point that we didn't have any here in the US. Until I found out about this one place that you'll find out in episode 2. November 22nd, 2020 is the day I decided to head out to this one arcade in the Meadows Mall known as Round 1. Round 1 is a Japanese based amusement store chain that offers many fun amenities to do, including a bowling alley, karaoke, a, a pool area, well not the ones where you swim in, but I mean like that one where you hit the balls, well you get, you probably get the idea, and as well as an arcade. Round 1, which is known as owned by most anime fans, should probably know it for its exclusive Japanese arcade games. Yes, they have Japanese exclusive arcade games here, including Beat Mania, Heroic Verse, Groove Coaster, and Initial D Stage 8, but the ones I came in here particularly, since I'm a huge rhythm game guy myself, is Sound Voltex and Project Diva. These are basically the two reasons why I wanted to come here, since I am a big rhythm gamer myself, I thought that they would be interesting to try out one day. So, let's go ahead and try to experience it by playing the first game, Sound Voltex. I'm already about to go deaf. <laughs>
So, my thoughts on Sound Vortex? I overall thought it was a fun game. I thought the controls may offered a good challenge to it, which overall made way for a fun experience. The only downside with this game is that if I don't wear my earphones, then this game will legit make me deaf. But other than that, it's all good. Now, here's something funny about my experience that day. While I predicted that Sound Vortex would be harder, the next game, Project Diva, would, well, be easier than Sound Vortex. Nope, I was wrong. So, my overall thoughts on Project Eva? Mm, eh, it was alright. Though, I, I was hyped up to play this thing. It, I honestly found it to be kinda hard, especially for a difficulty level 1, over something that I honestly felt like should have at least been an 80 or 90 even though I got a 50%. And also, it feels like you have to time it exactly unlike other, most other rhythm games, where in other rhythm games, even the slightest margin would count as a perfect. Over there, it's kind of different. However, I definitely could be wrong, as I am still new to the game, and it might be one of those games I might not enjoy as much, since I'm bad at it. We'll just have to grind it out later, and see if my opinion changes. So, and there you have it. This was our day here at round 1. So, what is my overall verdict on it? I thought it was great. 
It's definitely a great place to hang out if you ever stop by Las Vegas, and you have nothing to do there because everything is still closed. Especially for someone like me, who wants to try some out um, the, of the Japanese rhythm games that you can find in the Japanese arcades. So, because of our day is now over, let's go ahead and get some good night rest, and I'll see you in episode 3.